So you just picked up your new on a tablet and you want to customize it with wallpapers and themes, etc. I'll show you how to do it. So you just picked up your new on a tablet. My example is the new Pad X8A available on Amazon for about 150 quid. And here it is for the most part out of the box. I have made a few tweaks here and there. And I'm just going to go through a couple of things that you can do just to customize your tablet to how you want it to look. Now, one of the first things that I always do when I unbox and set up a new tablet is, as you'll see, that there is no apps tray out of the box. So the first thing I will do is jump into settings, home screen style, home screen style again, and then it is set to standard. And then you can tap draw to add in an apps drawer and it will just take a second or two. And then what it will mean is you can still swipe right and then you can remove all of those apps off of there if you want to. And then you've got all of your apps here tucked away nicely. And of course, there are plenty of other customization options with Magic OS that you can do with your tablet. Obviously, one of the main things that you want to do is make it aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So again, in home screen and style, and you've got a few options here. You've got select a new wallpaper, change the theme completely, magazine unlock, change the fonts, and you can change your icons as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just jump into select the wallpaper. And you've got a few on-device wallpapers here. This particular one here I've already downloaded. But if you swipe to the bottom and select more wallpapers, bear in mind that you have to be signed into your Honor ID to have access to this library of wallpapers. And then you've got just a plethora of wallpapers here. Now, as you can see up the top there, you've got paid, you've got their latest uploads, and then you've got the free options. Me, I just like to tap on the free options. And then again, you've got a plethora of free wallpapers that you can use. Now, say you've chosen your wallpaper. For me, let's go with this one here. It'll give you a little preview. If you just click download, it takes seconds to download. Press apply. It'll give you a preview here of what it's going to look like on your home screen. And then you've got the option to blur it if you want to. Go back if you clicked on it by mistake. Or you can select that you want to apply it. Now it'll give you the option to Use it just as your lock screen, just as your home screen or both. And I'm going to tap both and then it'll take a second or two just to apply that to your home screen. So then if you just swipe away, there is your wallpaper there. And as you can see, it's on your lock screen as well. So jumping back into those settings, you can then jump into themes again. There's a few options already here, but you can click on more themes again. And then there's a plethora again. A lot of these are paid, but I'm pretty sure if you select top down the bottom, and then there's a free option here to download some free themes for your tablet. So for argument's sake, let's go this one here. And then it's got customized icons specific to that particular theme. And that one there again. So you can really customize the look of your tablet in one go just with a new theme. Now, of course, if you don't want to do that, if you want to do it yourself, then you can go back, obviously do your own wallpaper and then you can select icons there. Again, you've got a few there which are all quite similar. And then again, oh, there's not really that many others anyway. So those are basically your options there. And then you can go on to fonts as well. Click on free and then there's loads of different fonts that you can choose from as well. Oh, just for the sake of it, let's go with the Tesla font. We can apply that and then that will apply that to everything on your tablet, all of the text. 
as well. And then magazine unlock. If you switch this on, basically what this will do is every time you lock and press the button again on your tablet, it will show you a different photo and you can select the style of photo that you want shown up there. I generally tend to turn that off because I generally choose a wallpaper and then I just stick to it. This is the one that I tend to use. I really like it. Nice and subtle, but it's you know nice blues, nice greens as well. So say for argument's sake, that is the home screen that you've chosen. You have got a few other options as well. Now I've got this big blank space up here. It would typically have the time and date and a few weather bits and bobs, but I deleted those just to show you this next bit. Now, if you pinch on your display, you've got a few options down here. You can have a shortcut to the wallpaper, choose cards, the transitions, and then jump into home screen settings. Now for the purposes of this, I'm gonna just jump into transitions and then there's a few swipe transitions that you can change. There's a couple of options, not a lot. I generally go on to squeeze, for some reason I like that one. And then you can, that is the swipe transition applied to your tablet. And then you can pinch again. And then if you go into cards, this is essentially widgets. And then you've got a few options here. The one that I typically tend to use is if you go on to weather, and then you've got a few options of which sort of size weather widget you want to add onto your home screen. And then you can edit it, more weather cards, etc. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back onto that. I'm going to add weather, but then I'm going to add this smaller one here. And I'm going to put that in that top left hand corner, just like that. And then what that will give you the option to add a couple more if you want to. So if you want to add a calendar onto there, again, you've got loads of calendar options here that you can select. But to fit in nicely with the sizing, you can either pick that one and then it will give you information on any particular things that you've got going on on that day, or you can pick that one there, which just tells you what day it is, etc. So I'll just use that one there and I can plonk that right in the middle. And there that is there. And then if I wanted to, I could pick a third one. I can go on to clock. And again, you've got world clock options or just your local time. And again, you can add that here. Now, personally, this isn't how I would have my home screen but that's just showing you a couple of examples on what you can do. And then of course, if you want to change your mind, you can just press and hold, and then you can remove those particular cards from your home screen. If you didn't want three and you wanted one big weather icon, you can chuck that up there as well. So that's just a few ways that you can customize your tablet. Of course, you've got the usual settings, bits and bobs when it comes to setting up your tablet. You've got the usual light and dark mode options. And you can auto switch it between light and dark mode. So, you know, arguments say nine o'clock in the evening when it gets a bit dark, you turn the lights down, etc. You can have dark mode come on, eye comfort mode, you can set that for a certain time of the day. So you can have it finishing at seven o'clock in the morning when you're likely to be up and about and then potentially turning it off, or sorry, turning it on when you're starting to slow down a bit again in the evening, you know, maybe eight o'clock in the evening, something like that. And you can change the intensity of it as well. So that's just a few quick tips on how you can customize your tablet. It's a really customizable skin, Magic OS, and a skin that I really enjoy using. I have covered plenty of other Honor tablets on my channel if you're interested in checking out the unboxings and reviews of those. So that's just my very quick video showing you how to make a few customization options to your new Honor tablet. 
Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed videos like this and if you want to see more and subscribe to the channel so you're notified when I upload new videos and I'll see you in the next one.